Hi folks, I'm working on doing a sewing label for a project that I've just started. Um, I'm going to be using my infusible ink pen on laser copy paper. I've drawn this out with my Cricut Maker. It, for those of you who will ask, this font is called Carly Sketch. And I'm going to be pressing it onto this label with my new Easy Press 2 Mini. So keep watching. So I'm going to be using this 4x4 four four swatch. The first thing that you want to do is lint roll it. You want to be sure that you don't have any lint on the t-shirt fabric. And if you can see on the camera, even though this is a perfectly new lint roller and the white t-shirt material does look super clean, there is lint that you need to take off of it. So we'll get that out of the way. I'm going to protect my mat right away so I don't forget to do it. I'm going to be covering my t-shirt material with clean butcher paper and I'm going to heat it for 15 seconds to remove any moisture that might be in the t-shirt material and to remove any wrinkles of course. That should do it. Okay. So I've drawn this out on laser copy paper and of course I've mirror imaged. I'm going to place my drawing good side down onto this swatch. And as you probably already know, this infusible ink works with heat that converts it to a gas and then the gas fuses to the fabric. So you want to be sure that when you place it down, it's exactly where you want it. Because once it comes in contact with the heat, it will start converting. So if you pick it up, you'll probably have some ink transfer has already begun and you don't want that. So place it exactly where you want it the first time so you're not tempted to move it. There we go. Just tape it down so it doesn't move. And we're going to cover it again with butcher paper. The UC Press Mini does not have a timer. So I'm going to Alexa timer 75 seconds. One minute and 15 seconds starting now. Okay. So with the Easy Press Mini, it's a little counterintuitive because we always tell you not to move it with the infusible inks. But because I'm doing a larger graphic with my little mini, it is necessary to move it around to make sure that I've covered all my graphic. I can see it already starting to transfer. And that's the reason for the butcher paper. The ink is coming through onto the butcher paper. You can see that it's already starting to transfer. We have 25 seconds left. I'm just using light pressure on this. Alexa, stop. I will turn this off. I remove my butcher paper. And you can see that some of the ink has transferred onto the butcher paper, so you want to discard this. You don't want to use it again because that ink will convert again to a gas 
and transfer on to whatever your next project is and you don't want it to be ruined. So we're just going to lift our drawing off here. We'll remove this carefully. Oops, I lifted the label. Oh, it's terrific. It turned out really terrific. We'll discard that. So I'm going to take this label and adhere it with basting spray to a white cotton square just so that I can give my label more body and I'm going to be sewing it all four sides into my project. So I hope that you're going to be making some project labels with the infusible ink pens and sheets and your Easy Press Mini. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.